the tradition of our sisterhood at Phi Gamma Kappa goes back to the days when cotton was king. And just as it has been for generation after generation, the friendships you have so lovingly cultivated and nourished here will remain amongst the most treasured possessions of your lives. Through times of happiness and times of sadness, good fortune and tribulation, you will always remember this time together. You are at a crossroads, a junction in your lives. May the road you travel speed you toward your dreams and goals with no sudden curves or detours to divert you from your path. For those of you who are graduating, this is your farewell ball. Congratulations, girl, and God bless you. true for me, baby. From the moment I first laid my eyes on you, you were fresh with me. I knew that one day you'd be my wife. And this is just the beginning. I've got it all planned out. What I want is to make you happy. What I want is to give you everything your little heart desires. What I want, Chad, is to run away to a tropical island somewhere and live in a grass hut. And eat coconuts for the rest of our life? Coconuts and mangoes and papayas. Don't do this to me, baby. You're driving me nuts. That's the idea, Chad.
the shots, son. You know, your daddy and I weren't so keen on you becoming a lawyer. I swear I'd sponsor you on the pro tour. Well, Senator, I like things to work. I like them nice and neat. Mm -hmm. These days, you're going to hook a shot, son. You're going to get stuck in the rough. And that's going to give you character. And I mean that with all best intentions. Yeah.
should go home. Just one more time, it's so much fun. I'll get them off for you, miss. I used to be a goddamned elephant tamer. Kyle, leave them be, move out of the way. This one's on the house. How about you, princess? You want to take a spin? I'm not a princess. I knew a real one once. She was from the Sudan. Her daddy was king for a day. You better do what he says, ma'am. Because if you don't, he's just going to hold your kinfolk hostage till you do. I'd really rather not. Come on, April. One more time. It's so fun. You'll love it. April? I've known a May and a June, but never an April. I wish I could say something to persuade you to get on that ride, ma'am. Wipe the seat off with the princess, Kyle. That'll make her feel better. If not for him, then for me. My blood pressure's high, my heart's weak, my days are numbered. There's only so much for a man my age can take. Come on, girls. We're going home now. Could you please let them out? Cut on loose, Speed. My pleasure. Kyle, you tried hard, but you can't win them all. Round one goes to the princess. He must like you girls. He usually doesn't back down so easy. <laughs> Darling, I'm talking to you. I found this on the ground. Thank you. How do I know who you are, Princess? How do I know you're the real April de Longpre? And who's this good-looking devil, April? He your husband? Not yet. Two more weeks. Choo-choo. What kind of name is that? His real name's Chad. She just calls him Choo Choo. May I have my wallet back, you please? Bet. Well, sure thing. Anything you say. Hey, Choo Choo. I want to wish you the best. What's she got on her mind? Why are you following? What you got down there? How's it doing? You wanna come with me? Which one of you girls wanna come with me? You better use it while you got it, because it ain't gonna last forever. Smiley, Buck, it's 
seats, sons of bitches. One of these days, this full carnival's gonna come down around you if you don't start putting some money back into it. You gotta spend money to make money. Ah, fuck your pay. That's good, Smiley. Fuck you covers just about everything. I paid for that beer. Uh, don't be so goddamn stingy, Buck. What goes around comes around. The more you give, the more you get. Cup's half full, half empty. Reality's all. And how you perceive it. Isn't that right, Buck? Oh, everything you say is right, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't the most beautiful bastard I've ever seen, I don't know who is. <laughs> God, I love you, Barry. You got it all, kid. You're an angel, you're a saint, you're a cowboy, you're an Indian. You're the devil sent here to keep us all honest with ourselves. <laughs> you hit on the island. He's in. Definitely in. <laughs> yeah, you talk too much. I'm coming. I'm coming. I know you love me. I love you, too. Yeah, yeah. You didn't bite everybody. We wouldn't have to keep you cooped up in here all the time. And you're so fucking tough. Good looking and so tough. Remember me? The man who returned your wallet? Aren't you gonna talk to me? You know, the first thing I thought about when I saw you? I really did think that, you know, hope's a better word for it, that you were out here looking for me. Are you? I couldn't sleep. I know you've got a lot of things on your mind right now. With the wedding coming up. Everything. Yeah. I can understand that. So... Let's go, youngins. You sure you don't want to come along with us, darling? I hate leaving you here all alone. Oh, I'd rather not, Dad. It's just the weekend. Besides, I have so much to do yet before the wedding. Mm. You take it easy, honey. I will. Maybe I'll take a swim at the club. That's a good idea. Bye. If Jesse calls, make sure to give him our number at the lake. Don't you worry, honey. Have a good time. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye April. We'll be going now, Miss April. Thanks, Jimmy. We're looking forward to the big day. Gardenias your mom and I planted are special for your bouquet. They're lovely, Jimmy. You make sure and take some home for yourself. Thank you, Miss April. Bye. Bye bye.
want you to get out of my house. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to inconvenience you. It's just that I needed a nice hot shower. It sure is nice smelling soap. I'm warning you. No wonder women smell so good. What is it? In essence, a lilac? I want you to leave this house immediately or I'm going to call the police. No, ma'am. I don't think you will. Our chance meeting last night clued me into you. Is this Baxter drawing my hands off the sense? I don't care about your hair. Just get your dog and go. How can I do that? When it says right here on the bottle, wait three minutes after conditioning, or your hair will be unmanaged. Uh, if you got any ideas about going near that phone, I might just take it upon myself to walk out in the front lawn. Naked. Bare ass. Naked. You wouldn't want that, would you? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? You had your chance, but you didn't run away, did you? No, I didn't. And you didn't call the police either? No, I didn't. Why not? Do you suppose? Oh, I hope you don't mind, but I help myself to a bottle of champagne. I usually try not to drink during the day, but this being a special occasion, I think about it. You frighten me. I understand. I'm sorry I had to come into your house like this, but... Since I'm only going to be in town a day or so, that doesn't give us much time. And I knew you wouldn't mind. Uh, let's go over there. Sit on the couch. And get to know one another. You're the cockiest son of a bitch I've ever met in my life. Uh, not really. I just like to hear myself talk. And I like beautiful things. And a woman like you comes along only once in a lifetime. Bullshit. I swear. When I leave. I'd like you to give me a bottle of your perfume. As I'm driving from town to town. Put a little on my hand. Bring it up to my nose, and every time I smell it, I remember you and how beautiful you are. I'm a mole on your shoulder. Looks like a little kiss. Yeah, help me if you don't have beautiful skin. You smell so good. I can't keep my hands off of you. I was gonna come and just have a shower, a nice hot cup of coffee, but you excite me so much, I can't help myself. Like this has ever happened to me before. I went to a store in the Mojave out in California. The man there taught me how to use one of these. I thought for sure I was going to buy one. He told me he shot a video of his wife playing with herself. 
Can you imagine that? A total stranger telling me something like that? Smile. You don't feel like smiling. I can understand that. But April, darling, I didn't just show up here by mistake. You invited me. You might not know it, but you did. It's all right there. Tuscaloosa. The condo is ours. Congratulations. Look, I'm gonna stay up here a few more days, lock things down, make sure everything's perfect when we get here, okay? I love you, baby. Bridesmaids since your grandma walked down that staircase on her daddy's arms. <laughs> we got that, that photograph of you and that handsome bow of yours just dancing away at the sorority ball. <laughs> Wait a minute. Belle! Belle, got a surprise for you. Look who comes to visit. Well, I can see. <laughs> April, honey, how wonderful of you to come out all this way just to see us. <laughs> Are those flowers for me? Yes. Do I smell freesias? <laughs> My favorite? We stopped and picked some fresh on the way over. How thoughtful of you. I watched you drive in. I see your daddy bought you a new car for graduation. It's for graduation and the wedding, Belle. Chad's parents bought him one, too, only his is red. 
I can still see that Lincoln convertible that Belle's daddy bought for her graduation. It was white, and it had the softest tan leather upholstery you ever laid your eyes on. <laughs> April, you turned out to be a beautiful young woman. Belle and I are so proud of you. Thank you. Well, come here and tell me, child. Have you tamed Chad yet? <laughs> and don't you do it, either. Just keep him wild as long as you can. You're incorrigible, Grandma. Well, now, don't you Grandma me, April. <laughs> you know very well what I'm talking about, too. I've been watching you at parties and with boys ever since you were a little girl. And I might say you come by it naturally. I know I seem so sure of myself. Sometimes. I get this feeling inside, Belle. And I'm so scared. I really find that hard to believe, April. But when I was your age, I, I was expecting a baby. That was the year my father died, and everything fell on my shoulders. And your grandfather, rest his soul. He wasn't much help to me. But he was the most handsome and virile man in the county. And every woman that set her eyes on him wanted him. So, I disciplined myself to play the cards that life dealt me. And you never had second thoughts? April, second thoughts are a luxury I've never afforded myself, and neither should you. It's just everything's moving so fast. I feel that I haven't had enough time for me. Lila, if my mom or anyone else calls, could you tell them I'm here, please, but then I'm out taking a walk or something? I just don't feel like going home just yet. April, I don't know if your father told you, but I'm arranging for you to have this house after I'm gone. This house and the property from here to Two Moon Junction. I don't know what to say. Well, there'll be a trust to take care of the taxes and general maintenance. And all I need you to do is to make sure that when your time comes, you see that it stays in the family. Can you do that for me, April? Of course. And I also want to say how proud I am that you've chosen to wear my wedding dress. You deserve it, honey. You deserve it. <laughs> Problem. I'll keep an eye on her. Remember, save me a dance at that wedding.
You welcome wagon? I'm looking for the other man. What other man? But I'm the only man. I'm the last one left. The rest of them are gone. I find me a good woman. I'm going to. <laughs> the other man, Perry. Do you know where he is? Oh, yeah. Do you know he got run over by a train, lost both his legs? He died this morning. when you're feeling better. Bourbon. Give me some bourbon. What the hell am I doing here? Well, he does have a certain charm about him when he's not like this. What are you gonna do? You know? Let's just go get the son of a bitch and look <laughs> Come on, keep you company. <laughs> go on, Tom, get in the back. Get back, Tom. You ever been on one of these before? No, I haven't. Oh, you're gonna lie. I swear to God, I can't stand them when they get drunk. And believe me, I have learned that you never want to mess with them when they get that way. You just got to ride it out until it passes. Besides, with most of them, they ain't drunk, they're dull as hell. I'm glad you came along, though, because you started driving me crazy. You got a cigarette? Because I left mine in my purse back there. I don't smoke. <gasps> Fucking dickhead! God, I wish I had that kind of discipline. You know, I tried to quit once, and I thought, what the fuck, I'm going to die sooner or later anyway, you know? Hey, what did you say your name was? Is your name April? Yes! I knew it. I knew it. You're the one that's about to be married, right? Perry told me all about you the first time we met. I'm Patty Jean. Hang on. <laughs> did that son of a bitch make you take an AIDS test before he fucked you? I didn't think so. He said it was because he was afraid of dying. He just didn't want to be spreading the disease indiscriminately on down the line. Personally, if you ask me, I think he just didn't want to die having people think he was gay. Because <laughs> he's pretty enough to give that impression. Oh, kind of humiliated me. You want to really talk about humiliating? I know this girl who flies with Savannah, and she told me that when people die on airplanes, what they do is they lock them in the fucking bathroom until they land. Now I ask you, if that ain't the ultimate humiliation, what is? Ending up your life on a toilet seat, 35,000 feet in the air, you know? Shit! Hang on. We're here. Right. Okay. Hey, you got a bathroom? 
Get out of my fucking pants. You gotta get the liquor. I gotta go to the bathroom, Dad. Boys would just howl when I wore pink and gore sweaters in junior high. I love him, Gore. You ever put yours in the refrigerator? No. Makes it real fuzzy. I bet you got gray tits. I can tell. But you shouldn't cover them up or be ashamed of them. Okay? And your hair would look a hell of a lot sexier if you'd wet it and slick it back. I mean, I should know. I'm a hairdresser. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. If I do one, I do 30 makeovers a week. And that top would look so much better if you weren't wearing a bra. Wanna let me try it on? What? I'll shut the door. <laughs> Come on, let me try it on. Okay. That's nice. You wanna try it on mine? Come on, I designed it myself. It looks so cute on you. You've got the perfect figure for it. Perfect. Oh, come on, now, don't be shy. Just put it on and say goodbye, princess. Look, I know it would look good on you. And I'm not going to take no for an answer. Come on, Perry will love it. At moments like this, I can see why guys like women so much.
get your fucking dog and your fucking girls and get out of here now. The lady's got a secret, don't you? I ain't got no secret. I ain't got nothing except a bike, a truck, a post office box in Clearwater, Florida. living room. White. But it's not my house, it's my parents. Is your bedroom white too? It's beige and floral print. My whole place is wood panel. I never lived anything else but. Except when I lived in Vegas. I was married to this guy in the Air Force. And they put us up in this place that was gray. A prefab with a balcony. <laughs> you want to dance? No. Well, come on, we're here. Let's have fun. This is my favorite song. And you're gonna dance with me now.
but I can't wait to get there. April, honey? Did my mother or anyone else call for me? Why, no, honey. Okay, well, if they do, could you just tell them that I'm on my way home? Of course. Thanks. Bye-bye. from? Puerto Rico. Mm. Is that your sister? No, no. Cousin? <laughs> no. It's amiga. Uh, amiga. <laughs> Can you ask your friend why she's not wearing any underwear? 
¿Qué quieres saber que por qué no tienes pataletas puestas? She said that she washed them last night and uh, they're not dry enough to wear this morning. She only got one pair? <laughs> Parece que sí. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Bed's barely even cold. You're already trying to get someone else into it. Oh, what the hell? I figured as long as the room's paid for, I might as well get my money's worth. Parece que están juntos, vamos. You hollow, manipulative piece of shit. Everything you are is between your legs. Well, then why don't you come over here and give me a kiss good morning? Oh. I'm trying to come home, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. It's called us, baby. <laughs> yeah, there's no mistake in it. What's happened to Abe when she's come face to face with her libido? Checked desire. Who the fuck do you think you are? You come to my house and take it's me. It's not your house, sweetheart. It's your mommy and daddy's house, and you invited me. I don't recall giving you my address and phone number. You came here because you wanted to come. You can believe anything you want. You're so far gone, there's no hope. You're psychotic. You know what that means? Fundamental mental derangement. You are beyond social redemption. Well, it's better than being hysterical. You lose, mister. You're all alone. You don't care about anybody, and nobody gives a shit about you. That's right, baby. I'm the phantom of the night. Asshole. Princess. Motherfucker. Sweet pea. Cocksucker. Rainbow. Scumbag. Precious. Pig shit. Dumpling. Scumbag. You already said that. <laughs> Oh, better be careful what you say or people around here might think we like each other. You can rot in hell for all I care. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry for the disturbance, folks, uh, but you got to admit, that's one special wacko chick. <laughs> <laughs> was about the hottest thing on the planet. There was a time every Saturday night, and they'd dress up in tuxedos and gowns. And I'll go down to our pavilion at Two Moon Junction and dance all night long. Two Moon Junction? Yeah. That's my favorite place in all the world. My great-great-granddaddy was a pirate, you know. Uh, no. <laughs> really? Yeah, he and Lafitte and a bunch of the others got very pissed off at the slave traders and started raiding their ships and setting all the slaves free in South America. My grandmother says it was because they had this dream of America being the last bastion of freedom. But then they realized the problem was bigger than they were and they really couldn't do anything about it. So they settled on the land and started raising cotton. And put the slaves to work on the plantation. My grandmother says he did it because he finally came to understand there would never be heaven on earth. For as long as the earth turns, there's always going to be corruption. Nothing was ever going to be perfect. What do you mean to say that there was more money in cotton than in being a hero? Something like that. You're going to make a hell of a lawyer, sweetheart. I expect to live a double life. <laughs> Maybe even a triple one if I get lucky. Yeah, I thought you were just another tight-ass princess. You look like a princess. You talk like a princess. And you definitely have a tight ass. <laughs>
Excuse me, son. Is that your rig parked over there at Malcolm's place? There they be, son. Jonah and Jonah Jr. This old, they can't remember who's pappy and who's son. They're weird and full of superstition. Burying a dead animal on their land could cause the cows to give bloody milk. They bring on a swarm of locusts. Jonah, Jonah Jr. I told this boy here, if he'd dig up his animal, I might be able to persuade you to drop the charges against him. You see, it was dark, and uh, he wanted a nice place to put his animal to rest. He didn't know he was trespassing, and he's sorry. Do yourself a favor, son. Singing goes way back, it's a kind of prayer. So, where'd you say you hail from, son? East. Anywhere near Cambridge, Massachusetts? No, sir. A grandson going up there this fall to Harvard Law School. I wish him luck. We're talking about $32,000 a year tuition, room, and board. But it ain't gonna cost me a penny, no siree, because, thank the Lord, we got people around here who recognize and support outstanding achievement. You know who Little Richard is, don't you? Sure. I remember he used to ride around here in his Cadillac, always raising Billy Hell. <laughs> Got so bad, finally the judge had to throw his black ass out of the county and told him never to come back. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, son, is that not much goes on in this county that I don't know about. Savvy? job on the dresses. Thank you so much. They look great. You know, Alice in Wonderland's always been my favorite story. I always dreamed of having a storybook wedding, and now I am. The shoes and the hats. Pretty exciting, isn't it? 
just love these dresses. They make us all look so good. Makes your tits look bigger this way. <laughs> if you don't mind, April, honey, I'm planning on using these kind of dresses for my wedding. If I ever get married, which I probably won't, but if I do, these types of dresses would be nice. Well, you're welcome to it, sugar pie. I won't be needing it after tomorrow. Besides, next time I get married, I'm gonna run off to Las Vegas to do it in a hot tub. <laughs> April, <laughs> bite your tongue. Carolee, honey, could you give us a moment alone, please? This is gonna be a wonderful wedding. I can't wait. Honey, so little time. And I thought, well, I thought, since you and Chad are, are, are still going to school, I figured you're not counting on having a family right away. So I took the liberty of putting together this little care package for you. And I don't know, there's a lot of things here. And I, there's so much, and I don't know what you would use, but what do you think? <laughs> if you're coming, I don't know what you know. We never really talked. Oh, April, I'm happy. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. DeLongpre, but April, you have to see this. Come with me. <laughs> Come on. Mrs. Chad Douglas Fairchild be dressed the day before her wedding. We've been having fittings all day, Belle. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? It's a tent, Belle. Well, I can see that. Whatever does your mother have in mind? It's for the buffet. It looks more like a circus to me. Girls! Would you please take these cold drinks out to those poor, hard-working boys out there? Yeah. You look beautiful, Belle. Well, thank you, dear. What about me? Well, that goes without saying, Delilah. <laughs> it's him. I told you it was him. It is him. It is him. He said we were the cutest girl he's seen all month. Come on. Thank he's you. gorgeous. You know, it used to be that I knew the Christian name of every day worker in the county. Nowadays, you just open the yellow pages and dial a number and you take your chances with the riffraff. You know, Delilah and I are contemplating carrying pistols in our pocketbooks. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Not only is that tent an eyesore, it's a potential hazard. 
Young man. Young man. Young man, can't you do something about those guy lines? Somebody's bound to trip on that and break their neck. Oh, I don't know. Just down there. I don't know where. I think this will solve your problem. By the way, that's a beautiful outfit you're wearing. The finest of imported silk pongee, the likes of which I haven't seen since Mademoiselle ran that layout on Princess Di's trousseau. You're pushing your luck, aren't you, young man? I'm just trying to earn a living, ma'am. Minimum wage, three thirty-five an hour. It's not much, but uh, I can make it work. You know there's a line. Of course there is. That's what holds up the tent. Well, that's not the line I'm referring to. The line I'm talking about is the line between good manners and bad manners. Order and chaos. Cross that line. If you're talking about the state line, Princess. Or I see. Place settings for 36, April, darling. Taken from the court of King George and handed down from eldest daughter to eldest daughter every other generation. From the time our forefathers decided to legitimize themselves and join a civilized society. Well, since that time, the DeLongpre family can claim three governors, two United States senators, three electives of the House of Representatives, a Supreme Court Justice, and an ambassador to Chile. And at our table, we've had the likes of General Patton, President Woodrow Wilson, Jimmy Carter, Lyndon Johnson, the actress Tallulah Bankhead, and Truman Capote, and that film star, Grace Kelly, before she married her prince, and Betty Ford after her rehabilitation. <laughs> come election time, where do our Yankee brothers come accord but here? But where the South goes, so goes the presidency. And why is that? Because we here in the South take care of our own. Always have, always will. Perry? Perry? Perry, please come out. I don't have much time. I said to myself, if she comes here and she's wearing high-heeled shoes, then she's come because she wanted to come. There's almost $5,000 here. Please take it and go away. I saw your fiance. I love that song you were singing. You showed good taste there. 
I bet you his friends are giving him one of those stag parties tonight. Say if I'm right. I'm leaving now. If you don't want the money, give it to charity. Keep your money. How come you aren't wearing any panties, April, darling? What kind of a way is that to come see somebody you don't want to see? I know, don't tell me. You washed them out before you went to bed, and they're not dry yet. You know, you're a real son of a bitch. At first, you excited me. Now you repulse me. You've got no mystery. Everything you are... ...is between my legs. It's crazy. I've run a million miles. And who should I fall in love with? The very girl I was running away from. You're lying. You lie about everything. Am I? show you something. <laughs> to the merging of two great southern families, good luck to you, Chad. May God bless you. Max. I was gonna call him Tom, too, but I figured he needed his own identity. It's beautiful. I was thinking about giving you one for your wedding present, but then I figured it'd be kind of hard for you to explain. Cousins and I used to come here all the time when we were kids. It was our place. We did everything together. In the summertime, we used to sneak around at night and watch our parents making love. Then we'd come in here, strip down, touch each other all over. And one night after a party, they both got crazy drunk, took their father's Lincoln Continental and crashed it into a telephone pole. Timothy, the one who was driving, lived. But Charles died. Two months later, Timmy put a gun to his head and shot himself out of despair. Remind me of them.
at this game, my cousins and I, <laughs> they blindfold me. <laughs> I tried to guess which one of them I was with. Not your cousins. What cousins?
times in waiting. Noon. See what happens. So beautiful. We're so proud of you. Belle, I don't know if I can do this. Mm. But we love you. And we, we only want what's best for you. Just a little hold up, don't worry about anything. I'll handle it. Uh, if you all just hold on a minute, uh, I don't know, the bride's got a wrinkle in her dress or something. You know how these things are. Now, don't anybody go away. Big day, Senator. I won't let you throw your life away on a passing fancy. Passion fades. Believe me, I know. What are you talking about? I was afraid this would happen. He will never interfere with your life again. 
Bell, what did you do? Bell. He asked me for money. I gave it to him. It's not true. He would never take money. Everyone has his price. Not him. April, my beautiful, courageous child. Have I ever lied to you? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to inconvenience you. It's just that I was in the neighborhood and I needed a nice hot shower. It sure is nice smelling soap.
Pretty girl, young man, old man, man with a gun, two people in love. 